risk of commiserations. On Monday night in York, you both seemed very, very positive that you could come here and win. What went wrong for you today? Why was it so different from the pool match against Australia? Uh, I guess, um, you know, to Australia's career, they, they put a bit of pressure on us early in the game. And then they got a couple of results here and sort of snowballed from there. So, you know, with rugby league, it's it's all about pressure and whether you can handle it and whether you can apply it. And um, they did a good job of it, so. Yeah, that's the disappointing part. Like we, um, you know, we, we try to give ourselves a chance here and, um, to be fair, probably uh, played our worst game uh, out there today rather than our best. Three successive defeats in finals by Australia. How do you put it back out? Yeah, we'll have to go away and review it. Um, there's a few things that you know need to change and that will be looked at. So, um, you know, obviously the game's growing so rapidly over in Australia, and you know we, we need to try and get on that um, that train as well and. Know, prepare our players as best we can to get them to, to play at the, the standards that we um, we need them to. So what changes would you introduce? Um, so for us, yeah, it's, it's more about um, identifying talent um, that's in Australia as well and just making sure we harness them and um, put them into our database where we can start to develop and then also um, prepare them for the uh, 2025 World Cup. Oh, it's definitely, um, yeah, it's miles apart today. Um, yeah, it's, it's a strange one to be honest. Um, you know, we sort of went out there, like I said, we sort of froze and um, didn't get the job done. And, and to their credit, you know, they, um, you know, they, they came with applied pressure on us, etc. But you know, I'm really proud of our players and really proud of what they've done in this um, campaign. And you know, we can only go away and take away a whole lot of positives. So the gap Possibly, like you know, if we start playing more more test matches, um, get regular games, then we'll be um, better equipped, I guess. With the commiserations on today, one of the real benefits for the Gillaroos is the ability to rest players. How is your squad feeling after a four day turnaround between so many games? Yeah, we, um, we you know we, we didn't rest as many players as we we wanted to. We we actually wanted them game harder and match fit, and I don't think that sort of played. A massive part in um, you know the performance today. Like we were healthy. We were you know we were trotting around. We had a couple of bangs and bruises and all that sort of stuff. But from an injury point of view, we, we were fine. Um, so yeah, we sort of can't put it down to that. Yeah, just um, you know we we kind of started on the back foot and things just um, you know accumulated backwards from there and we just struggled to sort of find our way back into the into the game. Um, but you know, despite the scoreboard, I was still proud of the girls' efforts and not just today, but you know, obviously we probably like Ricky said played our worst game. But through this campaign, you know, um, we've been a tight knit unit and um, it's been a great campaign. So you know, we've had a lot of small wins, um, although we didn't win the World Cup. I'm still proud of the girls and um, what we've um, accomplished. Um, yeah, I think it's you know, definitely um, that was well organised. I guess you know we we enjoyed where we were, and um, you know fans were awesome. They you know York as a community got behind us, and when we got down here, it was the same sort of um, thing as well. So you know from an organisation point of view, it was awesome. I guess the the, the biggest things I think you mentioned it earlier, just the four day turnarounds are, are pretty gruelling for um, a lot of ladies that have played. Um, you know maybe a five day or six day turnaround would, would help the. Um, you know, help the World Cup. Oh, never say never. Um, I don't actually know what I'm going to do from here. Um, I'll just sort of see how the body recovers from World Cup and um, see what opportunities arise and I'll just take it from there.